Hello YouTube! My name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare playing a bit of Domination here on the map Green Band running around with the HBR A3 and I gotta say this is my favorite rifle in Advanced Warfare. I love this gun. I think in terms of overall kills it's my number two weapon right behind the Ball 27 but it's the Ball 27. It's so ridiculously good and it's, that's the only gun anyone ever uses. It's always on the ground. Everywhere you go you pick it up. Like you can play an entire game without using the Ball 27 and still get 10 Ball 27 kills on your combat record just because you ran out of ammo and that was the only gun you could find on the ground to pick up you know that kind of thing so uh this gun i think especially after the nerf goes through that this gun's actually gonna be my number one gun the hbr i love it this gun is just amazing but we're gonna talk about that gun i want to talk about xbox live so you guys may have noticed that yesterday xbox live actually went down for a little bit and i saw some people on twitter they were kind of flaming microsoft like oh this is why sony's better than you and i saw that kind of stuff also in comments of some videos and whatnot basically saying ah oh, sony's so much better than you this is why you can't even support your damn servers you know that kind of thing general flame war kind of stuff well i gotta say it wasn't Microsoft's fault. <laughs> it was not Microsoft's fault. So you guys may or may not be aware of, of this group or maybe even this organization. They're called the Lizard Squad. All right. And this is a group or what's what's again, maybe even an organization. I really don't know too much about them. Where basically they they get their kicks off of DDoSing down gaming related stuff. Now, they've been well known for taking down Microsoft and taking down the Xbox Live servers. They've been well known for taking down the PlayStation Network servers as well. They've taken down both of them. They also gained some uh, notoriety when they took down uh, the Destiny servers for a bit. They're known for taking down tons of different EA games. Uh, the World of Warcraft uh, Warlords of Draenor launch, they were responsible for DDoSing that and making it so it just generally did not work for the first three days or so. This is a group of people, or once again, an organization, I really don't know, that likes to take down gaming-related stuff. And they're very powerful, as it would turn out, because you see people are like, oh, this is Microsoft. You know, this is Xbox Live. How can you possibly take down Xbox Live? You know, apparently they just don't try that hard, you know? But it's like, no, these guys take down Xbox Live. They take down PlayStation Network they take down World of Warcraft, they take down Destiny, they take down just tons of EA games. These are very powerful people that take down a lot of stuff. And it's almost it's almost sad, right? Because it's not like it's not like the anonymous thing where they do uh, quote unquote hacktivism where they you know they hack into like government uh, websites or they hack into like corrupt corporations and they find out proof that they're corrupt or stuff like that. These are just people that like pissing off gamers. That <laughs> they're not really affecting anything. They're not causing any kind of change or anything like that. They're just really kind of just pissing off people and just just kind of ruining people's days. Like you know when Destiny came out, so many people were excited for that brand new game, and then the servers got taken down because you know they DDoS it down. Or just yesterday, just most random of all days. Well, I guess it was Cyber Monday, but uh, just yesterday, you know, taking down Xbox Live for a little bit. It's back up now, but just, t just taking down Xbox Live for really no reason. It didn't really uh, seem to make a whole lot of sense to me. They they've made multiple Twitter accounts and the like their original Twitter account was actually taken down by Twitter, but they made a new one yesterday kind of saying that that was their little Christmas gift to Microsoft and that this was just preparation for more things to come during the lead up to Christmas. So keep that in mind. Uh, chances are some things are going to be happening to both uh, in Xbox Live as well as the PlayStation Network uh, within the coming month all the way leading up until Christmas, which is really crappy, man, because you know it's Christmas. It's a holiday season. This is the, the biggest time of year for spending, especially here in the United States, and people are going to be buying tons of different games. People are going to be getting tons of games for Christmas and whatnot. And then these guys are going to try and take down like Xbox Live and PlayStation Network and probably different kinds of game servers and whatnot as a result of that. And that's kind of crappy, man. People are going to be so excited to be able to get their stuff. Like people are saving up, you know, they get, they get the next gen console. This is it's Christmas, you know. People are going to be getting their PlayStation Fours and their Xbox Ones for the first time, and then they're going to get on there. They're going to try and experience some next gen Call of Duty or something like that. And the servers are probably going to be down. They're probably going to be taken down by that time. So it's going to be like, ah, well, this is kind of great. This is kind of great. And it's really kind of scary that this kind of thing can actually happen. It's kind of scary that you know someone as powerful as microsoft or somebody as powerful as sony or even you know even on a smaller scale like different developers like bungie or even blizzard blizzard freaking entertainment you know how much money blizzard entertainment has the fact that they can't defend against these people is really kind of crappy man it's kind of, it's also it's also kind of scary that they can't they can't defend against this kind of thing which ddosing has been around for a while even here like uh here in the gaming community like you think of people that uh the different kinds of live streams would be ddos down a lot of the time which you guys don't know what ddosing is basically i, I understand it's on a very, 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 very primitive level. I don't understand it very well. Basically, they send from like a hidden source, they send just tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of traffic towards someone's computer, like towards their, um, 
uh, towards their router. Like if you're like if you want to DDoS down somebody uh, like, like like their live stream, they basically send tons upon tons upon tons of traffic to their router, and that makes it so they just you know, the router can't handle that that influx of all these different kinds of packets, and they can't actually just run. It basically just shuts down the stream, kicks them offline, takes down the internet. And they can't you know you do anything. Now what they're doing is they're doing that on a much grander scale, so big that they can actually take down all of Xbox Live, all of PlayStation Network, all of Destiny, you know that kind of thing, right? So it's um it's something that is very hard to defend against apparently because all these multi-billion dollar corporations still can't defend against it. So it's actually pretty scary. That's a thing, but it is a thing. Uh, hopefully in the future, because DDoSing hasn't really been around forever. It's most notably popped up in the, in recent years. So hopefully in the future, this kind of thing, there'll be, there'll be like a defense against it and people can figure out how to stop this kind of thing so it doesn't really affect things in the future. But as of right now, there doesn't appear to be too much of a defense for it, even for multi-billion dollar corporations. So it's kind of a scary thing. But I want to make this video kind of, kind of as a little news piece for you guys. That's why Xbox Live went down and that's why during the coming month you can probably expect xbox live playstation network and probably just different game servers different games you like to probably go down it's because these guys it's because of lizard squad so hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video hopefully you guys all found it helpful and informative and if you did please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves hope you guys all have a wonderful day